interestingly. Uh, Chris, a question for you. Uh, you have, it's an interesting app that you've done. You were, you were, okay, you were a captain, you were, you were a selector, now you're involved in a team in a different capacity. Uh, how, in, how, as an, uh, from a selectorial point of view, uh, how important do you think the IPL is in grooming young talent? Uh, see, when I was the chairman of the selectors, uh, we looked at IPL, I mean, the IPL performance was looked at. Right. But at the end of the day, I'll just go on to what Rahul now had to say. I mean, at the end of the day, you have to be a good cricketer. Mm. We ensure that the guy who has been selected, whether it be from a... Okay, guy who's good in IPL will probably fit into the shorter format of the game much more easily Correct. than the longer format of the game. Right. But at uh, the end of the day, he has to be a brilliant cricketer. So, I won't say that we have directly picked any guy from IPL into a test side. Mm -hmm. Except for one bowler I can remember, Amit Bisha. Right. Because we realize that a guy like Spinner, if he can bowl brilliantly in a four-hour spell and consistently win matches uh, for his team, we realize he must be a good leg spinner. But then we went through his record, then we realized that he already had 200 Ranjit Trophy on weekends. Mm -hmm. So from IPL to international cricket, is uh, almost next to impossible. Mm -hmm. It's top to bottom. You have to do well in domestic cricket. You will have to do well in all forms of cricket. I mean, do well in IPL. Probably for the T20 format, which is now coming up uh, right. quite uh, successfully across the world, you might get an opportunity. The player might get an opportunity. But as a selector, we look at IPL as a good tournament. We probably identify some players who are good enough to probably. Play. But the bottom line is. Is he good enough to play international football? Mm -hmm. And then when he gets elected.